According to Kaku and others, a black hole may not simply be a dead end. Instead, it could be the entrance to a bridge, a wormhole, that leads to a white hole, the theoretical inverse of a black hole. Unlike a black hole, a white hole would expel matter and energy but never allow anything to enter. This raises an extraordinary possibility, that black holes are not merely gravitational traps, but gateways to other parts of the cosmos, or even to parallel universes. This idea is grounded in Einstein's field equations and extended by quantum mechanics. When these frameworks are applied together, though they often clash, solutions emerge that hint at the existence of such bridges. These Einstein-Rosen bridges, as they're called, are deeply unstable under classical physics. They would collapse faster than light could travel through them. But some theorists believe that if exotic matter with negative energy exists, it could stabilize a wormhole long enough for something, or someone, to pass through. These concepts may sound like science fiction, but they are grounded in genuine scientific inquiry. In 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope captured the first ever image of a black hole's shadow, located in Galaxy M87. The data revealed intricate details about the black hole's accretion disk, the swirling plasma of matter spiraling into its maw, and offered hints about the geometry of spacetime around it. This was followed by the 2022 release of the image of Sagittarius A asterisk, our own galactic center's supermassive black hole. The clarity of these images marked a monumental leap in observational astronomy and provided direct visual evidence that spacetime is being bent in precisely the way Einstein predicted. But the excitement doesn't stop at imaging. Recent research suggests that black holes might store vast amounts of information, challenging the long-held belief that anything falling into a black hole is lost forever. This leads us to the information paradox, a puzzle that has stumped physicists for decades. If information is truly lost in a black hole, it violates the fundamental laws of quantum mechanics. Yet, according to Stephen Hawking's groundbreaking theories, black holes can slowly evaporate over time by emitting Hawking radiation, a faint glow of particles leaking from the black hole's boundary. So where does the information go? Is it somehow preserved in the radiation? Is it encoded in the event horizon surface? Or is there a deeper layer of physics we have yet to discover? These questions are not just academic, they strike at the heart of what reality is. Understanding the fate of information in black holes may unlock a unifying theory of quantum gravity, merging Einstein's general relativity with quantum mechanics, two pillars of physics that, so far, have remained fundamentally incompatible. And then, there's the ultimate speculation, could black holes be creation engines for new universes? Some cosmologists propose that when matter collapses into a singularity, it doesn't merely vanish, it rebounds. This rebound could potentially birth a new universe, separated from ours by an impassable boundary. In this model, every black hole might contain an entire universe inside it. Our own universe, then, might be the interior of a black hole that formed in some grander cosmos. If true, this idea would redefine everything we know about existence, placing our reality within an endless multiverse of nested worlds. While these ideas remain unproven, each discovery pushes us closer to answers. The Large Hadron Collider and upcoming space-based observatories like the James Webb Space Telescope and the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, LISA, will offer new tools to probe the depths of gravity, time, and space. From mathematical modeling to quantum simulations, Scientists across disciplines are racing to uncover the truth. So what lies inside a black hole? Is it a singularity, a point of unimaginable density? A wormhole to another galaxy? A door to another dimension? Or is it the womb of a new universe, silently growing beyond our reach? We don't yet know. But one thing is certain. Black holes are not just cosmic vacuum cleaners. They are profound clues to the nature of reality itself. Each new theory, each new observation, pulls back the veil just a little more. And as we stare into the darkness, the darkness stares back, not as a void, but as a mirror, reflecting the deepest questions we can ask. If this exploration inspired you, make sure to subscribe to Discovery at 2.0, 
where we unravel the greatest mysteries of science and space, one revelation at a time. Like the video, hit the bell for future updates, and share your thoughts. Do you think wormholes could really exist inside black holes? Could they be the key to traveling across space, or even time? Thank you for joining us on this cosmic journey. Until next time, stay curious. Black holes, mysterious, massive, and all-consuming, remain among the most fascinating and least understood objects in the known universe. These invisible giants, some weighing millions or even billions of times more than our sun, have the power to warp space-time, shred stars, and swallow everything in their path, including light itself. For centuries, they existed purely in the realm of theoretical physics, curious consequences of mathematical equations. But today, thanks to monumental technological strides, we're finally beginning to observe them directly and explore their astonishing implications. And now, a new frontier has opened. Theoretical physicist Michio Kaku has proposed what might actually lie inside these enigmatic voids, and his claims are nothing short of astonishing. To understand the scope of this revelation, we must first grasp the foundation on which our current knowledge of black holes is built. The idea of objects so dense that not even light could escape their gravity dates back to the 18th century, but it wasn't until Albert Einstein published his general theory of relativity in 1916 that the concept gained serious traction. Einstein showed that mass and energy bend the fabric of space and time. This theory predicted the existence of gravitational monsters so powerful that they could trap even photons, the particles of light, in an eternal spiral inward. But even Einstein didn't fully accept the possibility that black holes were real. For many decades, they were viewed as mathematical oddities, solutions to Einstein's equations, perhaps, but not physically possible. That changed dramatically in the mid-20th century. In the 1960s, scientists detected powerful X-ray emissions from a mysterious region in the constellation Cygnus. After extensive investigation, the object, now known as Cygnus X1, was confirmed as the first known black hole. Its presence marked a paradigm shift in astrophysics. Black holes were no longer theoretical, they were real, they were dangerous, and they were out there. This discovery opened the floodgates. Since then, astronomers have identified dozens of stellar mass black holes and several supermassive ones at the centers of galaxies. The Milky Way, our home galaxy, is no exception. At its very heart lies Sagittarius A, pronounced, a star, a supermassive black hole with a mass over four million times that of our sun. Its gravitational grip shapes the orbits of stars in its vicinity, and it influences the dynamics of our galaxy in ways we are only beginning to understand. But if black holes are so powerful and destructive, why should we study them? The answer lies in their unparalleled ability to test the laws of physics under extreme conditions. Near a black hole, the known forces of nature, gravity, electromagnetism, nuclear interactions, behave in ways that defy our conventional understanding. Here, time slows, space warps, and particles are subjected to forces we cannot replicate anywhere else in the universe. In many ways, black holes are nature's ultimate laboratories. To appreciate the scale of a black hole's influence, consider the event horizon, the invisible boundary surrounding every black hole. Once an object crosses this boundary, escape becomes impossible. It's like a cosmic one-way door. Light, matter, even information is forever lost beyond it. From the outside, we can't see what happens inside. But we can infer the presence of a black hole by its effects, how it pulls in matter, how it bends light, and how it warps the trajectories of nearby stars. In rare cases, when black holes collide, they generate ripples in space-time known as gravitational waves, which have been detected by instruments like LIGO and Virgo. Falling into a black hole is more than just deadly, it's deeply strange. For an outside observer, a falling object appears to slow down as it approaches the event horizon, never quite crossing it. This is due to the extreme warping of time. But for the object itself, time proceeds normally, and once it passes the event horizon, it is pulled toward the singularity, a point of infinite density where space and time break down. At the singularity, all known laws of physics cease to function. 
It's a place where gravity becomes infinitely strong and where our equations yield infinities, signaling a breakdown of our current models. Yet modern physics cannot stop at this boundary. Scientists like Michio Kaku believe that what lies beyond the singularity may hold the key to the deepest mysteries of existence. His theory builds on the idea of wormholes, theoretical tunnels through spacetime that could connect distant points in the universe or even different universes altogether.